There are people in the world that claim they've seen Jesus Christ. There's even a young woman, a uh, young girl, that uh, painted a picture of what she said she saw. The face of Jesus Christ. Well, this is my testimony. This is my story of how I saw the face of Jesus Christ. It was back in the early 1970s, and I was taste testing Protestantism coming from a Catholic background. And most of it I found to be quite uh, bogus, especially the Pentecostalis, Pentecostalism. Well, one day uh, I, I was getting home from somewhere and I pulled my car up into my uh, parents' par uh, driveway. I was like 21, 22 years old. And uh, I had the radio on. I was listening to some religious broadcast up in New Jersey and uh, they were telling the story of a little boy that said uh, he'd seen Jesus at the f at the foot of his hospital bed or in the hospital room and he was going through some kind of serious surgery treatment and uh, I just I stopped the car and I'm listening to the radio and I'm thinking well they're hopefully not gonna get some little child to lie on the radio to create a sensation and uh, but let's listen to this story and uh, I'll judge for myself what it's all about they said well they had said they had little Timmy in the uh, radio broadcasting studio with them and that he was going to speak about what he saw when he saw Jesus reportedly saw Jesus so I thought well maybe he's one of these high high wired boys that you know can make up all kinds of colorful far out stories so let me just listen to it and see what I think of it <clears throat> of course I was highly skeptical my skepticism was sort of at a peak at the time for Pentecostal claims of healings visions etc well i'm sitting with the radio going and uh, they said little timmy is going to tell us timmy they said what did you see what did he look like what did jesus look like when you looked at jesus and i thought this is going to be rich little boy's going to tell what jesus looked like Well, he came right out and he said, he looked like, and then he paused a little, just a little, for a moment, I love you, he said. He looked like, I love you. And at the very moment that he said the words, I love you, for some reason I can't explain, I put my head down and closed my eyes. And at that moment, a radiant full color live face of Jesus was looking straight at me I didn't search around to see all the features because the eyes held me spellbound and the eyes said one thing louder than anything else I love you so the very thing coming out of the boy's mouth I got in visual form now this was real at the time I was far from doing any kind of taking drugs or drinking and it was full color brilliant with the eyes looking straight into my soul with all peace and authority and love above all. Being a portrait artist and an artist in general, I tried numerous times to depict what I saw since it's, I can still see it pretty fairly clear 
in my mind's eye what I had seen, those eyes. They were so arresting. There's very few artist attempts at painting Jesus that come even, to, even slightly close to what I saw. They catch one little aspect or you can see what they're trying to catch. They're trying to catch that look of love and utter calm and peace. And you know, they do a pretty good effort sometimes. But I tried several times and good as I am, and I'm quite an accurate portrait artist, I could not capture any of that life that was in those eyes. And it was beyond words, beautiful. So I've carried this with me through my life, and you know, I never doubted that I saw it. But it was almost useless to share it with people because they would just wait till you're finished and then think, well, okay, who knows? And maybe that's how you're taking it. All I can say is being a visually oriented person and an artist, son of two very fine artists who both say that I have said that I was better than both of them. That face was the face of all faces. It had eternity in it. The power was unbelievable. So it was real. Take it or leave it. I don't know why God gave it to me, but it was my moment of high skepticism that he took advantage of to humble me, I guess. Needless to say, I had tears coming out of my eyes. The vision only lasted, I think, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, three to four seconds. That's all it took, and it changed. I mean, it, it made me realize that Jesus is real, and that his qualities cannot be captured on paper or canvas or anything. I will say, though, that the, uh, the bone structure of the face uh, is a little bit vague in my memory, but it does kind of match up with the Shroud of Turin. The cheekbones, the nose, and the hair was kind of close matted on to the head, and it didn't flow down like that, like you see in all the pictures and statues. The hair kind of as I, best I can remember, ended here, but you see my eyes weren't looking over and around that face. They were just in, focusing in the eyes. And afterward, of course, I sat there and meditated. What did I just see? The skin was a kind of a glowing bronze color. The eyes were uh, light enough that I could see into them. They were not black, and they were not very light. Best as I can remember, kind of a light brown. So I share that with you. Maybe you've heard others tell these kinds of things, and maybe they all seem kind of bogus to you. Maybe mine will somehow ring true. But I do, I do long to see that face again, and I, I do strive to walk the way of Jesus Christ so that I can be with him in eternity. The Rolling Stones had put out a song, I think it was called, Want to See His Face, or I Want to See His Face. What, what the lyrics were, I don't want to talk about Jesus, I just want to see his face, and they repeat it again and over and over and over again. Well, if you really, really want to see his face, then you do want to talk about Jesus. You want to hear about him, think about him, meditate on him, and know his presence. He is able to give you that sense of his presence. 
I'm going to cut it to an end here and uh, hope that somebody gets blessed from this. I haven't shared it, but with maybe uh, a dozen people in all my lot years of living. And I share it with you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust in him for salvation. He died for you. Goodbye.